This is Rafael Haynes from the Three Point Conversion here at State Farm Arena, where the Atlanta Hawks has won their second game of the season over the Orlando Magic, 103 to 99. The Hawks had to lead most of the game until the Magic came back midway through the fourth quarter. But the Hawks was able to complete the game, and Coach Lloyd Pierce talked about how confidence would be instilled in the team and how important it is to get this victory at home. You know, obviously it's a it's a it's a lot of uh, excitement for our guys to to win the way we were doing it. And the focal point, everybody's heard how bad we were defensively last year. And for us to come out and have two great defensive efforts is the most important thing. Um, Trey's playing exceptional right now. We got a bunch of guys contributing on both sides of the ball. Uh, for a young team to feel, we, we talked about how hard it is to win in the NBA in general, but to come out and have two, two wins and the type of wins that we had is important. Um, for an home opener, I thought it was great. I thought our fans, you know, the place was packed, a lot of energy. Um, it's what we wanted. We want to be able to play. We haven't played here in about two and a half weeks since that first two games in preseason. So to have our, our fan base here and have it packed was really, you know, the, the exciting part for us. Trey Young once again led the Hawks with a spectacular performance, scoring 39 points, nine assists, and seven rebounds. We had a chance to talk to Young about the difference between closing out games this year and not being able to close out last year. What has been the biggest difference as far as the team, you know, closing out two games versus last year? The maturity. Uh, we have a lot of guys, a couple of guys that are here from return from last year, and us just helping those those young guys come in, uh, the rookies coming in, uh, <laughs> those, those young guys coming in, helping them uh, get through those those tough games, tough battles in the NBA because. It's hard to win one game in this league, so we got to take it day by day and, and uh, be locked in. The rookies were able to get big minutes down the stretch. Although they didn't contribute offensively, it was much talk about how well they played defensively in the locker room. Can you talk about the rookies and how well they played late in the game? Yeah, sure. I mean, they're stepping up their effort defensively. Um, obviously, you know, it's not clicking all the way yet for all the rooks, but they come in with that defensive effort. We can win some games. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're obviously starting for a reason. Uh, DeAndre, even Cam, I know Cam isn't, hasn't found his way offensively, but defensively, he probably has the most uh, deflections for us, which, which is a big factor for us. Um, and we're, defensively, they're, they're, they're pretty key for us, to be honest with you. Uh, we, we knew that they can guard before they got here, and I think the fact that they're still in the starting role playing against certain players like Aaron Gordon and Vucevic and all of these guys that have been around the league for a long time, it shows that their character defensively, and <clears throat> we're still finding a way offensively, but uh, we, that's the last thing we worry about. With Kevin Herter battling back from injuries, he was able to get extended play off the bench tonight. He spoke about how he felt more like himself tonight versus Thursday. Yeah, I mean, it was just another game back. Obviously, it was a little rusty last game, but this game just came into it trying to be aggressive and um, obviously just felt better having one game under my belt. Coach um, referred to you as uh, Kevin Matumbo, talking about the big block. <laughs> Can you talk about that block? Um, you know, to be honest, it was, it was kind of a defensive breakdown that, you know, him catching it that low underneath the basket and then, I think he was really looking at John, was trying to pump fake him. I don't know if he saw me and uh, just went up and made a play, obviously. Got lucky, didn't hit his hand, but um, just made a play in and, and a moment we needed to. This is Rafael Haynes from the Three Point Conversion here at State Farm Arena. To get more Atlanta Hawks news, make sure you follow the Three Point Conversion and all of our social media outlets. Remember, it's where fans' opinions matter.